It was the day terrorism became America's biggest enemy. Aaron Reed was a 24-year-old Navy SEAL. You know, the hair stands up on the back of your neck even more so. And you get that tingling in your arms and legs and you're thinking, wow, that's not an accident that we're at war. It wasn't long after Reed's team was in full-scale combat. We knew that we were in for a, uh, long, a, uh, a long battle ahead. and. It, you know, it's been 20 years. He spent two tours in Iraq. That was during Phantom Fury 2 in Fallujah, and that was a pretty intense time. I can't even tell you how many times, a lot of situations where I could have easily, you know, been killed, and, and that was it. That's the end of the story. But that was just a chapter in a decades-long battle that later sent him into enemy territory in Afghanistan. Not once, but twice. Conception is that we're at war with Afghanistan, and we were with, you know, the Afghan people, which is not the case. Afghanistan is filled, has been filled with insurgents, uh, people from Pakistan, other countries that come over the border to fight Americans. The Afghan people, for the most part, are very, very friendly. The Pashtun people are very, uh, their culture is, is rich with uh, wanting to help people and they're very friendly and they'll, they'll do anything for you. If they take you in, you know, if you, if you make friends with them, They'll give their life to protect you. The same people left behind when America withdrew its last troops back in August. It bothers me, you know, to no end. We had to leave at some point, but it could have definitely been planned a lot better. Taliban are going door to door right now, looking for friends of the United States, friends of the U.S. who have, you know, that have helped them out in the past, interpreters especially, and they're murdering them. You know, we did a lot of good here. You know, we fought them on their tur on their home turf. We were victorious, a great, great deal, victorious over and over again. If you're talking about the best military fighting force in the world. We have no problem doing that. The problem is back here. You know, we've got so many armchair quarterbacks, and we've got you know politicians who can't make a decision. I mean, that's really the biggest detriment to us. We, we would have been done in the first couple years, if not the first year, if we were allowed to do our job the right way. Ready to serve, ready to fight, no matter where the call of duty may take them. 9-11 had to have a, a swift response. We took out Osama bin Laden. We took out a lot of evil in this world. When you ask me if I'll go back, absolutely, that's what we do. We're patriots and warriors by trade, and that's what we do. And if our country calls us to do that, we're going to go. Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News.